Hey guys, this is Ulrich from Nostalgic Mathematics. Welcome to our MID Integration B 2022 series. Today we turn our attention to the problem 5 of the finals. We will compute this integral. If you are new here, do not forget to subscribe. So we want to compute i. Here, i is the flow of log base 10 of this integral s. By definition of the flow function, it might be interesting to derive both a lower and an upper bound for this integral s. But first, s we write as this. So the key here will be to use the convexity. We're going to use the convexity of two well-chosen functions to get it done. So here, if you consider the function x cubed, this is the difference between the image of x and the image of 2022. Now, look at the function x cubed. We know that this is a convex function because the second derivative here is 6 times x, which is positive for a positive x. So we know that x cubed is going to be greater than its tangent around the point 2022. That's what's written here. Actually, this is the image of 2022, and this is the first derivative in 2022. That's right. Now we are looking for these difference. So we just manipulate a little bit to have this. So we can now have a kind of upper bound for this integral s, and we have this because this expression here is less or equal to this other expression. What we do is that we perform a substitution on this because when we set t equals x minus 20, 22, dd is going to be dx and t will go from 0 to infinity. That's right. Next, we write 10 as e to log 10. That's what we have here. And it is very really now straightforward to get an upper bound because we know that this integral, the integral from 0 to infinity to e to negative alpha x dx is 1 over alpha. And here, alpha equals 3 times log 10, 20, 22 square, and we have our upper bound. So what we want to do next is to look for a lower bound. Now, we're going to focus on this function here, and it is convex for x greater or equal to 20, 22. Yes, because the first derivative is this. So actually, we know that 10 is e to log 10. So we're going to have log 10 multiplied by the first derivative of this exponent, which is negative 3x cubed. So that's right. We compute again second derivative. So we need to be patient. We just keep minus 3 log 10 into factor. So what we do is that we compute the first derivative of x cubed, which is 2x, and keep this. And again, we keep x cubed and we compute the first derivative of the whole function. We know it. That's what we have here. And then we just reorganize a little bit to have this. So it is quite easy to see that if x is greater or equal to 22, this is going to be positive. So the function is convex for x greater or equal to 2022. So we can now apply what we did here. We know that fx is going to be above its tangent around the point 2022. So we know that f of 2022 is going to be 1. And the derivative is going to be minus 3 log 10, 2022 squared. That's what we have here. That's right. So we call this linear function x. Now the key here is to be smart because if you set the integral on both sides of this inequality, it won't work because for greater value of x, this is going to negative infinity. So this integral is not going to be a real number. So what we can do is that we can just focus on an interval where lx is positive. First, we know that we, we restrain ourselves for the value of x greater or equal to 22. But when we set lx equal to 0, we get this value. So now we know that Lx is going to be greater or equal to 0 over this interval. That's what's interesting. We're going to see how we're going to use it. First, since Fx is positive, we know that this integral is going to be greater or equal over a restricted interval. That's right. And on this interval, we can now replace Fx by Lx because Fx is greater or equal to Lx. So we have this. That's interesting. And we write as this. Because we know Lx, so I mean the entire derivative of this is going to be x, and here we take x minus 20, 22 square over 2. That's that's here. So it's quite easy to compute this this difference because for the first term we're going to have the difference of the of both here, the upper bound and the lower bound. So it is going to be 1 over 3 log 10, 20, 22 square. Now for this term. For x equals 20, 20 is going to be 0. So we can just focus on this 
upper bound and it's going to be this remaining term here raised to the power of 2 over 2 but we know that this will i mean um restrict the exponent to one so we're going to have a, the same number this one multiply by one over the same number square so we're going to have one over this number but we have two also to the, to the denominator so we have this and one over three minus one over six is one over six so that's good and we are getting our lower bound by multiply this by that power of 10 and we get both an upper bound and a lower bound and we are good we are given i and s as follow so that i is the floor of log base 10 of s and we have also established this lower and upper bound for s so that multiplying by this power of 10 we have this and again we can apply the log base 10 to every term of this inequality to have this now we're going to focus on these numbers using these inequalities because log 10 is between 1 and 2.5 and we can also write the same thing for 20 22 so this number here is going to be greater than 3 multiplied by 1 multiplied by d square which is 4 multiplied by 10 to the power 6 but this is going to be 12 and we know that this number is going to be greater than 10 to the power 7. Right, now here this number is going to be less to 6 multiplied by 5 over 2 multiplied by 5 over 2 multiplied by 10 cube all of these raised to the power 2 that's what we have here but 6 multiplied by 5 over 2 cube is roughly equal to 94 so that's good we can have this upper bound here 10 to the power 8 so we know that this number is going to be greater than minus 8 and this is going to be less to minus 7 so we just rearrange a little bit and since this number are consecutive integers we know that the floor of log base 10s is minus 2022 cube minus 8 and we have our answer that i is also equal to negative 2022 cube minus 8 and we are done thank you for your attention Again, do not forget to subscribe, like, share, and post your comments. Bye.